Wherever you are, jet-powered commercial aircraft produced by industry juggernauts Airbus and Boeing are likely to be a common sight. This manufacturing duopoly has a presence in most markets, with many of their aircraft directly competing with one another. However, Russia is also an important center for aircraft manufacturing, with several well-established companies present there. But how do Russian jetliners compare to those of Airbus and Boeing? Before we go any further, a crazy 79% of you have not yet subscribed. Please, do us a favor and subscribe now. It really means a lot. The majority of Russia's aircraft manufacturers are grouped under the wider umbrella of the United Aircraft Corporation, or UAC. As well as including commercial aircraft manufacturers, this group also includes military producers such as Mikoyan. The UAC was founded in February 2006 as part of a presidential decree by Vladimir Putin. It was hoped that, by grouping the companies, they would be able to collectively minimize their losses while also optimizing aircraft production. Several significant manufacturers of commercial aircraft find themselves under the UAC umbrella. In this video, we'll explore aircraft from Ilyushin, Sukhoi and Tupolev. Yakovlev has also produced commercial aircraft in the past, such as the Yak-40 and Yak-42. However, these rear-engine trijet designs are no longer in production. A better-known Russian jetliner currently in production is the Ilyushin IL-96, due to its use by Cuban flag carrier Cubana de Aviación. Visually and in terms of its size, the four-engine aircraft bears similarity to the Airbus A340-300. In fact, it entered service just three months before the A340 in December 1992. The IL-96M is 64.7 meters long and can fly 307 passengers in three classes, a range of 12,800 kilometers or 6,907 nautical miles. Meanwhile, the 63.7-meter-long A340-300 holds up to 290 passengers across three classes and has a range of 13,500 kilometers or 7,300 nautical miles. For Boeing, the IL-96M is similar in capacity and length to the Boeing 777-200. Its range of 12,800 kilometers take it further than the basic 777-200. However, this is not the case in the ER version, which flies about 300 kilometers further, and the LR, which can fly nearly 1,300 kilometers more. Meanwhile, Tupolev's present flagship is its single-aisle TU-204, which entered service in 1996. The jet is similar to the Airbus A321 and Boeing 757. Indeed, aside from the short fuselage TU-204-300, all three aircraft are within three meters of each other in terms of length, stretching from 44.5 to 47.3 meters long. However, the best range that it can manage is 5,800 kilometers or 3,130 nautical miles, compared to the 757-200's 7,250 kilometers or 3,950 nautical miles, or the original A321's 5,930 kilometers or 3,200 nautical miles. Of course, aircraft from the newer A321 Neo series, such as the LR and XLR versions, can fly even further. Finally, the Sukhoi Superjet 100 matches closest to the Airbus A220-100, although the latter has more than twice the range, 6,390 kilometers or 3,450 nautical miles, compared to just 3,048 kilometers or 1,646 nautical miles. Looking forward, Urquhart hopes to rival the A320neo and 737 MAX families with its MC-21, while Russia has also teamed up with China to develop the Krayik CR929. Despite falling short on range, the CR929 still hopes to challenge the A330neo and Boeing 787. Have you flown on any Russian-designed jet airliners? How do they compare to Airbus and Boeing aircraft? Share your experience with us by leaving a comment.
In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.